to do. I've lived there for the last 43 years. So to say that I know pretty much what's going on in that area would be pretty accurate. Three years ago, I stood here in front of all of you and told you that my integrity was still intact after quite a battle. It still is. I also ask that you please get a grant to get residential paving for our streets because our area in Millington View was in great need of paving. That was three years ago. Mm -hmm. We have more patches, cracks, dents, and cave-ins than you can imagine. So when I'm told that my street's not important to you, that bothers me. Now, I'm a citizen here. I mean, I, one minute, I didn't tell you what important did I? Oh, I didn't tell you it wasn't important, did I? More or less. <laughs> I didn't use those words now. I didn't say not important. I well, said, let me put it this way. It's important to me. Okay. It's important to my neighbors. Right. And the fact that it doesn't appear to be to you oh, it is does. very, very much See, he's interested not just me, time. but to my neighbors. Now, we've been very patient, and we've tried to do all the right things. We requested that you please get a grant. We were very civil about it. It was an honest request. We're waiting. It's still needed. Three years ago. If you don't believe this, could you please get up out of your seats, walk over there, and walk through the streets? Because I can tell you, I have. Amen. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to do the right thing. And so if it seems to be an issue in this town right now, somebody has to step forward and do it. And if I don't do it, I'm not going to be much better than you are. And oh, I don't want to be like you. Amen. Oh. I want to be like me. And it takes a great deal of courage to stand here and tell you this. But I will. Because if you can't do your jobs, for God's sakes, get out of them and give somebody the chance to do it. I asked for a grant for the park at Acock Park. Have any of you gone over there to see what you've done to it? I suggest you go in the remodeled bathrooms that are a joke and look at paper towel roll gizmos over commodes that were never removed. The fact that the pavilion leaks in two places. You did manage to get the shingles on top of the gazebo. Thank you very much. But the crepe myrtles where you had the poison ivy, it's still over there in the field. And by the way, I find it particularly insulting, and it tells me a lot about City Hall. When you put signs up that aren't really needed, talking about tree roots, and one of the signs that people from several different counties have to look at spells tree, T-R-E. <laughs> <laughs> now, my last name is Bright, and I find it very offensive that you can't spell tree. <laughs> If you have per people that are working with my money, I think the least they can do is check the signs they put up for their accuracy. And if they can't do it, why do they have the job? I find it insulting for people from three different counties to come in here and walk around and see how very stupid we are. We can't even spell. I find it offensive. So I'm asking, please, in the name of God, somebody take that sign down. Because it's offensive to me. And it shows me that none of you care about what's going on. None of you look to see what's happening. And I do I get because I thing. care. I've walked these streets, and I've seen what's there. And I find it disturbing. And then again, there are bright moments when you have <coughs> people that are employed here that do absolutely standing jobs, and I know who they are, and they're not who I expected them to be, because they're not you. They're the garbage picker people. They're the people that clean up the street, the, the, the storm drains. They're the people that do care, and they do it with a smile on their face, and they care. And for that, I thank them every single day, and I appreciate them. Wouldn't it be wonderful? If all of you did the same kind of job they did, I can tell you right now, I would appreciate it because I'm sick and tired of seeing my neighborhood trashed and you think it's okay. It's not. That part should be the brightest sparkle in this whole neighborhood, not the U.S. Stadium, 
Everybody is over at that park every single day. You have no idea from what great lengths these people come to walk. And what do they find? They have fine people that have been told that they can set up at the pavilion who run their pickup trucks right over the walking path. Gentlemen, that's a safety violation. And what are you going to do when no one of them runs over a small kid or somebody with a stroller or maybe just somebody on a walker and said, whoops, I was texting at the time and I missed it. I find it very offensive that they just go out there and get in their pickup trucks and they drive all over the walking path like it's the thing to do. And tell me something, how stable is that bridge over there that they like to go over? that's over the drainage ditch that is in such bad repair that it frightens me all the time. Does anybody know? Because if you don't stop them, that's going to be a problem too. Because you've got vans and you've got pickup trucks going over that all the time. After they've been on the walking path. All right, I, hate to, I hate to stop you, but on those trucks, if you're out there and you see them, if you'll get right down a tag number and bring it to me, I'll get it to the chief. We'll take care of that. They do it whenever they pick to have a barbecue out there, and they do it when they oh, set up for their sports events. And it's dangerous. And I'm afraid what's going to happen is somebody's going to say, whoops. Chief, can you, pass, can you pass that on to the police department? Have them pay attention out there and pay some people doing that. Great. Thank now, you, after having said all that, I've got one more issue. All right. On 385, you can see where the drainage ditch meets with the canal. We still have those 21-year-old beavers that are sitting up down there. But on top of that, with these great big domes that they've built that's stopping up the canal, you also have people that are stopping on 385 and they're dumping stuff like paint cans, concrete, wooden pallets, and things like that. You can't put that in there. It's going to dam it up even worse than what the beavers have done. Please. Not just me, somebody else regularly check this and make sure that it doesn't happen. It's going to flood again. I'm going to have that check out tomorrow morning on the pallets and concrete, but you'd be appalled if I told you how much money, your tax money we spent on beavers. Yeah, because there's a certain that. way you have to do it. You have it's got to be a natural thing. You have to cater to the beavers to get rid of them. Well, I'd be finding a natural thing. We have flat hauled them off. Show them food somewhere else or something. I'll take, care, there I'll take care of 385 tomorrow. You can see them down there where they chop the trees down from the park. I'll take care of 385 tomorrow. That park should be a place to make all of you shine because you have so many people come in from so many other counties and walk there. You have no idea. It's not paved. It's lined off by drunks. There's not one single line down there. Oh, there's a bunch of people in other counties. There's a bunch of people from other counties use it because their counties don't supply them anything. If you have someone down there lined it off this next time, for God's sake, get somebody that's not drunk with a working brain. Because if you have lines that are four or five feet, you know, in difference and not lined up, you can tell whoever did it failed coloring. Thank you, ma'am. And it's an accident waiting to happen. So please. We can't get a grant. The way we did that, we, we looked at that for several months, and I told all the aldermen while they're riding around town and looking at everything. Well, I am a good laugh today. Roads, turn them in. And a lot of them did turn them in, and, and some of them we took care of it, and some of them we didn't. We had 200, I think it was 200,000. How much was it, guys? 200,000. We spent $200,000, and it didn't go very far. Next year, we will have some money in the budget to do some more. And, uh, but, Mr. Mayor, I was here three years ago. Mm -hmm. and I, I was here too. To I wasn't here three years ago. You were in. The, you were right out here listening. <laughs> 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 you. I will take care of three eighty five tomorrow, and I'm going to get with you on some other stuff. Please. I will. Thank you. Thank you.